टुडे वी विल सॉल्व नुमेरिकल्स ऑफ नॉर्मेलिटी सपोज वी वन एम एल ऑफ ए सोल्यूशन ऑफ नॉर्मेलिटी एन वन रिएट्स और न्यूट्रलाइज वी टू एम एल ऑफ ए सोल्यूशन ऑफ नॉर्मेलिटी एन टू देन एन वन वी वन इक्वल टू एन टू वी टू दिस फॉर्मूला इज ऑल्सो कॉल्ड नॉर्मेलिटी इक्वेशन नाउ वी विल सॉल्व सम नोमेरिकल्स सपोज हाउ मेनी ग्रेम्स ऑफ सोडियम कार्बोनेट आर रिक्वायर्ड to prepare 250 ml of 250 ml n by 10 sodium carbonate solution now solution is in this formula volume is given 250 ml For calculation of normality, volume is required in liters. So, two fifty when divided by one thousand, then we get point two five zero liters. Normality is one upon ten. In this numerical, W equal to. In this numerical, we can calculate W. W means weight of solute. For W equal to n e v, we want equivalent weight. Molecular weight of sodium carbonate is twenty three into two plus twelve plus sixteen into three. That comes one zero six. For equivalent weight. molecular weight upon total number of positive or negative valencies total positive or negative valencies is equal to 2 so molecular weight 106 is divided by 2 and we get equivalent weight of sodium carbonate that is 15 now putting these values in the formula w equal to nev we know n is 1 upon 10 equivalent weight is 53 and volume is 0.250 it is taken in liters after calculating this we get w equal to 1.325 grams this is our answer now next question is how many grams of noh are required to prepare Five hundred ml N by ten NaOH solution. In this numerical, W equal to question mark in grams. Volume is five hundred ml when it is divided by one thousand. then we get volume in liters that is equal to 0.5 liter normality is 1 upon 10 full weight equivalent weight of noh by dividing molecular weight by acidity of base
molecular weight of NaOH is 23 plus 16 plus 1 divided by 1 basicity of NaOH is 1 because one OH group is present so 40 divided by 1 equal to 40 so E of NaOH is 40 now W equal to NeV volume is taken in liters we know normality is 1 upon 10 equivalent weight is 40 and volume is 0 0.5 by solving these values we get 2.0 grams so answer is 2.0 grams of any which are required to prepare 500 ml n by 10 solution next question how many grams of crystalline oxalic acid are required to prepare 250 ml 0.1 n solution main thing in this problem is what is crystalline oxalic acid crystalline oxalic acid is H2C2O4 to water it means crystalline oxalic acid is hydrated oxalic acid W equal to we want to calculate in this question W volume is 250 ml 250 when divided by 1000 we get 0 0.250 liters normality is 0 0.1 we can calculate equivalent weight of crystalline oxalic acid by dividing molecular weight by basicity of acid in oxalic acid two replaceable H atoms are present so basicity is 2 molecular weight is 2 into 1 plus 12 into 2 plus 16 into 4 molecular weight of water is 18 so 2 into 18 divided by basicity of acid that is 2 equal to 126 divided by 2 equal to 63 63 is the equivalent weight of crystalline oxalic acid if anhydrous oxalic acid then molecular weight is 90 divided by 2 that is equal to 45 so in this question crystalline oxalic acid so equivalent weight equal to 63 not 45 now we will put these values in the formula w equal to nev n is 0.1 E is 63 and volume is 0 0.250 so then W equal to 1.575 grams this is our answer now next question is calculate the normality of solution containing fifty grams of HCl in one point five liter of solution.
In this question, W is given, that is 50 grams. Volume of HCl is given, that is 1.5 liter. We want to calculate normality. Equivalent weight of HCl is calculated by the formula molecular weight divided by basicity of acid. We know basicity of HCl is 1 because 1 replaceable H atom is present, hydrogen atom, 1 replaceable hydrogen atom is present. Molecular weight of HCl is 1 plus 35.5 divided by 1 that is 36.5. So equivalent weight of HCl is 36.5. We know the formula W equal to NeV. So N equal to W upon EV, volume is taken in liters, W is 50 grams, uh, equivalent weight is 36.5 and volume is 1.5. By solving these, we can, we get normality N equal to 0 0.091, that is our answer. If you want a video tutorial on any specific topic of chemistry, please comment below. If you like this video, then like, share, comment and subscribe this video. For more articles on chemistry, please visit our site chemistryonline.guru. Thank you.